This is the Wemo Pro device. It contains a micro USB port from which we will be able to download the data and charge the battery of the device. It also has a call up in port with which we will be able to connect to the smart station in order to charge the device as well as download the data. The device has a single button from which we can turn on and off the device and complete marks during our recording. To turn the device on, just press the button and then the blue LED light will stay on for about 10 to 15 seconds. This is the self calibration process for the initial sensors. During this process, the device must be on a stable surface, as the quality of the data depends on this. Once this process is finished, the blue light will start flashing. The device contains two sources of information. Firstly, the LED light, which can be blue, green or red. And secondly, the display on which we can see the player's BIP number, the player's name and the specific agent we're connecting to. The blue light indicates that the device is on and ready to record but is not yet collecting data. The green light indicates that we are connected to an external agent and the red light indicates that the device is recording. To know which external agents we're connected to, we can see the icon shown on the screen. In this case, we're connected to a GPS, which we can see by the location icon. If we're connected to another external agent, such as a herd rate device, the icon that will appear will be an amplus with a herd, as we will see now. Finally, to start the recording, just press and hold the button for 3 seconds and the red light will appear and start flashing. Also, the square icon will appear on the screen with an arrow pointing inwards, which means that the device is collecting data. To turn the device off, press the button 3 times in a row. The device has 4 hours of battery life and 16 gigabytes of storage.